Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to fix some things in a picture. Uh, we're going to be using the content aware features of Photoshop. Now, what I'm going to do is open up an image of a little elephant exercise, and it's the number two image. All right. So, uh, there's a lot of things going on in here that I'd like to change. The first thing I'm going to change is this little tire back here. I'm sure it's just a play toy for the elephant to hang out with. But what I'm going to do is remove it from the image. And it's not that hard. I'm going to find one of my selection tools. The lasso tool will do just fine. And the way it works is you want to have some space outside the object you're trying to remove. So I'm going to leave some space outside. I just drag my pen around the item leaving a little bit of space. To stop, double click, or choose the top end of the button on the pen. When I do that, I end up with a selection. You'll see the marching ants if you did it right. Now what I want to do is fill that. So I'm going to go to Edit, Fill with Content Aware. And when I fill it with Content Aware, it's gone. It's kind of like magic. I'm going to go ahead and deselect by going to Select and Deselect. You could also press Control D. Now you might get some issues where things get duplicated. For example, this little green thing is copied twice. No big deal. We'll fix it using the next tool I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom out. And we're going to fix this line here that goes across. The first part we're going to do is from here to about here. So I'm going to go down to the second section of tools and find the spot healing brush. The spot healing brush, I'm going to make sure that my brush is large enough, uh, around 80, 90 picks, somewhere on there. And under the settings up here, I'm going to have it do a content aware adjustment. So I'm going to just paint. You'll see the brush kind of just going over it. You see, I'm just painting along the line. You don't have to be perfect. And then I let go. And magically, the line will disappear. I'm going to do it again over here, starting from the edge, going down a little bit. I'm going to do a little more here. I'm going to do a little more down underneath. And there we go. So now to fix those little guys up there that were duplicated, I'm just going to draw on top of one and it'll go away. I can also get rid of these poles back here if I wanted to. And maybe the line. See how that does. And a little bit over here. Alright, so the only a couple other things I want to do is I want to get rid of this little line right here. It's very skinny. And I want to get rid of this line here. And then this guy over here, rather than painting over it, I'm going to return to the um, selection tool here, the lasso. And I'm just going to lasso around it. And I'm going to do, you notice, I don't know if you notice, I went outside my square and then let go. Well, there's another tool underneath the spot healing brush called the patch tool. And what I'm going to do with the patch tool is I'm going to tell it which pixels I want it to use. So I'm going to have it pull this out like so. And maybe something like that. So that kind of tells it what to do. Now, if you don't get a good patch, you can always do it again. And if it's still giving you trouble, it's no problem. You can always do the edit, fill, content aware. And that fixes it up. I'm going to go ahead and deselect. If it, you end up with a line, a visible line, you can always go back and use the spot healing brush a little bit in that area to kind of get that area fixed. I'm going to, there's a duplicate of that line. There we go. All right. So, if you'd like to, see if you can get rid of the little poles in the image. And try and be careful because you don't want to accidentally remove part of the elephant's leg. And then make sure you save this in your Chapter 1 folder. And that's it for this video.